Hello ladies and gentlemen, Clistwy Redux here with another redstone tutorial. So this came as a request from Mr. Lego Lewis. He asked, can I use my randomizer to create a random player teleporter that would be used in something like a cops and robbers map? So with a little bit of reconfiguration, I went ahead and did that. So let's go ahead and check this out in action. This would be how it is turned on. And when you press it, The randomizer begins, and if you look in the bottom left corner there, you can see the command to teleport different players to different locations. So these command blocks will be doing the teleporter, and as you can see, I actually added the slash me, so it just says the command and doesn't actually teleport me, but you would go ahead and use the rest of this command minus the slash me here. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out how this works. So before we go ahead and build this mechanism, I want to explain it a little bit more thoroughly. As you can see, this is how it starts, as I just said. It's going to start this RSNOR latch, which starts my randomizer here. And as you can see, it selects one of these outputs at a time, randomly, and it only selects it once, so it'll never give the same command twice. This means that each time a random player will be selected and teleported to a random location. No player will be teleported twice. And this mechanism ensures that, like I said, if you're using this for a cops and robbers map, that there will always be one guard selected. And then the rest of the players will be sent to random locations, which can be your jail cells. So, let's go ahead and get this build started. Okay, so as usual, we will start with a red block as our power source. We'll go ahead and put a button on the front of it, put a piece of redstone dust on top, and this will be the beginning of our RS NOR latch. So, we will place blocks as you can see here. Go ahead and break these two. It will be a redstone repeater set to default one ticks facing towards this red block. Redstone torch right there dust being powered by this redstone torch and another redstone torch here that will power this repeater now coming out of this red block we want to invert the signal with a torch and this will go into our clock so the clock will go as you can see here we will go ahead and place a redstone repeater going into this block set it to three ticks Put a piece of redstone dust that is being powered by this torch, redstone dust right here, and a torch. Now leading out of this, this block with the redstone dust right there, we will place a repeater, and this will go into our hopper dropper combination. So we want a dropper facing upward with a hopper on top. We will go ahead and give this a 50-50 chance by putting a redstone dust or any item stackable up to 64 and an item that is not stackable at all, the cheapest of which will be a wooden shovel. Now leading out of this, we will place a block right next to the dropper and a comparator. Directly in front of the comparator, we want another block and we will bring it around so that there are three pieces of redstone dust as you can see here we will put a repeater leading out of this redstone dust so when this clock goes on there's a 50 50 chance that either the redstone dust or the shovel will be selected and brought up to this hopper now when the redstone dust is selected this comparator will not send out a strong enough signal to power this repeater, but when the shovel is selected, then this repeater will turn on, which is going to lead into our outputs. So we will go ahead and make the output green, and we will go ahead and bring this out nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put blocks on every other one as you can see here. 
then bring it back thusly. Now we will have repeaters on every other block here. And those will lead into other repeaters going this way. Fill in all the gaps with redstone dust. And then at the end, we will bring the signal back around. So for right now, we will do it like this. So the signal goes down and back up to the other end. But this signal is getting cut off as you can see here. So we will go ahead and replace it with a stone slab. There. And there, the two ends. Put repeaters back. And once again fill in the gaps with redstone dust. So, so far this build has been very much like my normal randomizer, but from now on is where it really changes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a single tick pulse running through this system. We could do that with any sort of monostable circuit. I will go ahead and build a very simple one right here. Get the signal running. And as you can see, we got a single tick pulse going through. Now we could break this yellow circuit. We will no longer need it. Now from here, we are going to place torches in place of all the outputs. Now what this is doing is, as you can see, this signal is constantly running. And the torches will actually not send an output because it is a single tick. So only when our system gets activated and a selection is made for more than a single tick, will these torches turn off and send a signal out. But we don't want the signal constantly on, so we're going to go ahead and have to invert the signal. So we will place blocks one space below each of these torches, piece of redstone on top of each of these blocks, and then once again invert it, so that if one of these torches turns off, then these torches here will actually turn on. Now from here we're going to need a dropper, which we will place in front of each of these torches, facing outward as you can see here. And then, other hoppers, droppers, facing directly towards the droppers we just placed. go ahead and place one item of any type inside of each of these droppers. One per set of two. And what these are are actually very simple RS NOR latches. So we will place blocks, as you can see, with comparators leading out of them. And now what happens is when one of these torches is activated, as you can see here, the item in here gets sent to this dropper and then the comparator is activated. And the only way to deactivate this comparator is to activate this here, the item goes back into here, and the comparator turns off. So like I said, a very simple compact RS NOR latch we have here. Now, we will bring out this purple circuit one more block in front of each of these comparators. Put a piece of redstone dust, and then command blocks, which will be powered. 
sorry, by this purple redstone dust. Now next to the redstone dust, we will place torches on each side, as you can see here. And then underneath, we'll go ahead and place this gray wool, running the span, and put a line of redstone dust. So this is essentially a large AND gate so when all of these torches are turned off and only when all of them are turned off will this torch turn on so we will actually put a torch on each end blocks on top of the torches as you can see here and then we'll start with this end And bring this gray circuit up and around as you can see here. So we'll set two repeaters set to four ticks. We actually want to replace this redstone dust with the repeater set to four ticks again. And place this redstone torch right there so the repeater is turning this torch off. Now. This repeater will be going into a gray block as you can see. And this is how we will be resetting all the RS NOR latches. Place repeaters in between each of these raised gray blocks. And so what this does is only when all of these items have been selected, this redstone will turn off and all the RS NOR latches will be reset. So we are almost done here. All we have to do from this point is bring the signal up to reset the entire circuit. This original RS NOR latch we made. So you could bring the signal up any way you seem fit. So once again, I will actually change that torch, move it up here just to get the signal up better, place a block on top, let's go ahead and get a half slab here. So this signal will come up and reset the entire system right there. And that is pretty much it, that is your whole circuit. So let's go ahead and give it a try. As you can see, currently, none of these command blocks have been activated. When we press the button, randomly one by one, each of these should be selected only once. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but usually it's quite quick. Sorry, I forgot a piece of redstone dust here. That made it take a little bit longer. And there you have it. All of them are selected. The RS NOR latches are reset. And you're ready to go. So all that's left is to put your teleport commands into each of these command blocks here. Now if you're doing this for a cops and robbers map, what you want to do is slash TP at P, which will get the closest player and then put in the location, the coordinates. So for this first one, we'll make it the coordinates of the guard. This one's going to be a little bit different. We will use the command as you can see here. Now for all the rest, the robbers, you're going to put TP at P, which will again do the closest player, 
But then you want to set a radius command. Let's say 30 blocks. So only players within 30 blocks will be set, will be TP'd by this command. And you could do this for the rest of these blocks. Now the reason we do this is because essentially what you're going to want to do is have the spawn pad of your game up here. or anywhere within the radius of the command blocks I just sent. So all the players will be up here and randomly they will be selected by these command blocks here. And because the radius is set to 30, it will never select the same player again because they will be teleported outside of the range of the command blocks. Now the only one that this is different for is the guard in case the guard is the last one selected here and all the players have already been teleported now you don't want only robbers in your game, so if all of the players have already been selected as robbers and then this guard set is the last one chosen, irregardless of whether the players are within this spawn point or have been sent to a jail cell already, this command block will still affect one player and send them to be the guard. So that will do it. That is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time.